good morning guys welcome back or to the channel in today's video we're actually picking up a new sandblast cabinet so um so there's actually a lot going on today um neighbors are mowing for whatever reason our air compressor is leaking we gotta figure that out um but anyway the blue truck is that's back there but um i'm gonna take the cover off it we're gonna put it in the storage building and uh well, I guess here in a minute, we're going to go ahead head out that way. So I guess I'll catch y'all when we get back. Um, cause it's going to be a little over an hour one way. And then we got to go through something else. And then like two hours back. So it's going to be a trip. But anyway, we're going to get over here, pull this bed cover off, put it in storage. And uh, we'll go ahead and head that way. Also, guys, I've been meaning to mention this. I think I mentioned it. In in one video i don't remember anyway um i think it was in the little blaster video i'm gonna put this clip in both videos i hadn't finished that video yet um and we're working on another video with the ovens and stuff but i'm gonna put this clip in both videos because uh, those aren't edited um and i want y'all to let me know so with the powder coating i, I understand a lot of y'all don't care about the powder coat um this more of an automotive channel now if i have powder coat content on my stuff yeah i'll probably post it here but do you want to see a second channel for all of the powder coat stuff uh drop a comment right now come on let me know um i'll even give you a second to go ahead and do that but um yeah like i said get down there in the comments let me know um if y'all would rather see a second channel for that kind of stuff, um, sandblasting, powder coat, the business stuff. Because uh, I do want to make that a business this year. So that's something I've kind of been working on um, and trying to figure out. So anyway, like I said, y'all let me know down in the comments. But anyway, let's get back to the video. All right, guys. So it is later in the day. Uh, we just got back home. Uh, with the 300 had to go run ran pick up brakes for the 60 which is in there but um right before we left in this we got back with the blue truck and our new sandblast cabinet so this thing we got from our good buddy robin um robin's super cool guy older guy super cool guy super knowledgeable um we was talking to him the other day and he said hey well, i got this cabinet you want it he said just come get it need some work um it's been sitting outside he got another one and he said i think he said he got another one because he was planning on his wife doing some sandblasting and stuff and that didn't happen and he said so i didn't need two of them and went with the new one so here we have the little blaster and uh, I'm kind of excited to see what we can do with this thing. So like I said, I mean, this thing does need some work. Um, it's been sitting outside for several years, but I think this is gonna be really good to have. So here in a bit, um, we need to get the 6.0 out of the shop. So we're gonna go eat, I'm gonna figure out something to cook, um, get that put back together. And hopefully tonight we're gonna try to get the little blaster in uh in here but anyway i'm gonna move this out of the way take it back up to the house where it needs to be and uh get a thumbnail real quick there we go and uh yeah kind of excited about this whole deal i think mr robin said he bought this thing in the in the 70s or 80s or something like that um, he didn't quite remember for sure, but anyway, like I said, kind of excited to see what we can do with that thing. Um, and when we get it unloaded, I'll show y'all kind of a little more about it. Okay. So it is the next day and, uh, I think we got an idea. Yesterday we put this in the shop. <laughs> um, that was kind of sketchy because, uh, the little blaster here is pretty tall. What it did is I had to sit on the edge of the tailgate to kind of compress the suspension enough 
to get it. And uh, it rubbed the door seal. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but it worked. So, um, anyway, like I was saying, before the planes come by, um, what I had to do is I had to sit on the tailgate to kind of compress the suspension enough to get it past here. Um, and this sweep did kind of rub the top ever so slightly, but we got it in there uh, last night. I mean, I don't know why. It's been sitting outside for a while, but we just thought that would be better. Um, but anyway, what we're gonna do is the tractor over there with the boon pole is not tall enough to reach to pick it up out of here. Because if we go back and look, it's a pretty tall, well, this door is nine foot and 10 foot wide. So it's pretty tall. Um, and the tractor, it won't, it won't reach high enough to pick it up. So what we're gonna do is where the swimming pool used to be, there's still a hole there and it's kind of deep over here. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna pull the blue truck down in there. I'm gonna back it up to that ditch or that little bank right there. And uh, we're gonna try to do it that way. So anyway, I'm gonna hop in this thing, pull it over there, see if we can not get stuck and uh, do it that way. All right, so I moved the 6.0 out of the way. Uh, but I don't know if y'all can really tell on camera. This, no, you can't. This is like two foot, maybe a little more, uh, kind of a straight wall here. So I'm gonna back, I'm gonna take that through there, try not to get stuck there and back it up right here. And then uh, get it at an angle where he's got room to get in there with the tractor and uh, we should be good. So <laughs> we're gonna try it and see anyway. I don't exactly know how it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. So I'm gonna pull this through there, like I said, see if I can not get stuck. That would be ideal. And uh, see if we can get this thing out of here. All right, so here you can kind of see a little better of uh, what we got going on here, but Anyway, I'm gonna help him get this thing all chained up and uh, see if we can get it pulled out of here. <laughs> all right, so a little sketchy. Uh, <laughs> tractor won't go up high enough to pick it up. Uh, so what we're trying to do is kind of move the truck forward a little bit, pick it up and slide it. Move the truck forward a little bit, pick it up and slide it. Um, and uh, I'm gonna grab a pipe or something we're trying to pick it up and uh, slide it back a little bit more. That way, if something comes undone, it doesn't just come crashing down. But we're getting there. Um, we're almost there. All right, so we got the little blaster inside a um, week or so ago. But um, I'm gonna start messing around with this a little bit. Uh, so first things first, we need to get all this old wet media out of here um so we open this little door i'm gonna try to shovel it out through here um like i said this media is old wet so it really needs to be out of there um and i think at some point we're gonna hook try to hook this thing up to air and see what it does um air and power kind of see what all it needs you know stuff like this regulator i mean does this regulator work i have no clue um so we'll do some looking about all that stuff and uh whatnot and um when we get all this media out i'll kind of show you all around this thing just a little bit all right so with the little blaster here uh now this is a foot operated deal which is pretty nice um no trigger on the gun Again, foot pedal. Uh, so <laughs> we've got most of the media out, uh, as you can see. Uh, now, what we need to do is we need to get that pipe plug out of the bottom and try to do some more cleaning. Uh, and I almost think 
for all this rust and stuff we could probably take put some media in here and uh, blast it away um, but i do like on this thing two doors that's very nice um whereas that one just has one and on this one the doors are nice and smooth so media doesn't collect in the doors and then uh little bevel all this stuff runs off whereas with that one every time you open the door media falls out in the floor um which is not ideal uh, but there's a lot of there is a lot of really cool things about this but like i said we're gonna keep cleaning and uh i'll go over some more of that at the end now we also got I don't know where they're at, but we did also get glass for that thing. Um, a good bit of glass at that. And, where's it at? Okay. And a bunch of tips. But another thing we got is a little package of tips, um, several pieces of glass, and a bucket of media. So that'll be nice for, um, getting this thing all fixed up i know or i think i know that the fan motor for the collector here in the back is probably bad um the gentleman we got this from i think said that's why he quit using it to begin with was this fan motor um and that cartridge is probably gonna need replaced as well but anyway um I feel like this would be a nice little project for us. Um, and it might replace, it might replace the old Harbor Freight. Uh, this cabinet is not bad, especially now that, you know, we've added um, a cyclone on it, a different, yeah, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. Every time you open it, media falls out from here. Uh, but, you know, we've done a, uh, different siphon, different gun. Um, added that over there. A few, you know, a few things. But the biggest thing I don't like about this cabinet is the glass. Um, <clears throat> if you look at that and then you come over here, look at this one. Much greater angle. And this one is much easier to see what you're doing. So, like I said, this might replace the Harbor Freight. Uh, we might keep the Harbor Freight just to uh, have a backup type deal. Or if we need to run a different media, have that media in that one and different media in this one. I don't know. We'll figure all that out. But I do think the little blaster is going to be a pretty nice addition to our sand blasts and powder coat setup um so anyway we're gonna try to get that pipe plug out of the bottom of this and uh, see if we can get the rest of this old media out of here but anyway guys we got the uh, a couple days later um but we got the little blaster back in here uh now let me open this door this door opens a little better um so, <laughs> some of the stuff, we did get most of the media out. Um, took that pipe plug out of the bottom, kind of got most of everything out. Um, but some of the things we are going to need to do here uh, before we can like really start using this. I mean, there's a little stuff like the glass is busted for the light. The light's not super bright, um, but stuff like these door seals are super, super rough. Um, yeah, there we go. Just move that out of the way. Um, and uh, not in place in some places. Uh, so that's the thing. Um, we hadn't hooked air up to it yet. So we need to do that. See if the foot pedal works. Uh, see if this regulator and all that stuff works. Make sure there's not any bad airlines or anything like that. Uh, 
this door, as you can maybe see, maybe not. Um, there's no seal there. There's supposed to be a seal there, um, but there's not. So we need to get a seal for that. Uh, I showed y'all we have lots of glass over there for it. Uh, another thing, where is it at? Here it is. The gun here um, is toast. <laughs> um, so that's the thing. This is a scat blast gun, uh, not the one that came with this unit, but we're going to have to get a new gun um, for that. So it needs to be a foot operated gun, not a trigger style like we have in walk under here not a trigger style like we have over here in the harbor freight unit um this is just a standard trigger style system um and yes that is a metal a metal butterfly um that we're going to be powder coating of my grandpa's girlfriend we're trying to get her to come down here and like watch us do that um but anyway <laughs> we'll get to that sometime or another. Um, also, this door really needs a good greasing. Um, <laughs> as you can see, this filter has seen better days. So we did hook power up to it. I'm not going to do that um, here because it's full of dirt up here. And... Uh, I did that the other day and it blew dirt everywhere in here <laughs> so probably need to get a new filter uh, but uh, the fan motor works the light works which is pretty good pretty cool uh, that's part of this um, and this plugs into there and then both the light and the dust collector works um, so you know just stuff like this this is one of the reasons we hadn't hooked air up to it uh, we need a fitting for that but all in all i don't feel like this is going to be a terrible um project so <laughs> i guess um one thing i am going to do is um i'm going to reach out to the company that makes and sells these uh blast it all i'm going to reach out to them see if they would want to you know work together on redoing this thing uh, it does need a good cleaning. <laughs> uh, it sat outside for a while. But we will... Uh, and I need to get these gloves out. They're old and super stiff. There are no holes in them. But they're very, very stiff gloves. And my hands don't fit in them. So that's a problem. <laughs> but um, Like I said, we're going to get this thing fixed up. I don't know if we're going to go through and paint it and you know all that stuff. Um We'll just have to see but anyway we're working on a bunch of other stuff today so figured while i was out here i'd go ahead and uh, kind of finish up this video uh, and like i said at the beginning of the video if y'all want to see me make a second channel for all the powder coat stuff drop a comment down below let me know i would be super down for that um just to kind of keep everything divided but Anyway, guys, I guess that is going to be a wrap for this one. So, with that being said, if y'all enjoyed today's video or possibly find it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everybody has a great day.